You know, honestly, it could be a challenge on the road sometimes. But if just that one person would give their life to the Lord, then it's all worth it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Uh, I'm Jack, by the way. Uh, Derek. <laughs> what's your name? Derek. Derek, yeah. Okay. And you are? I'm Jack. David. 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 I'm I'm Jack. Tim. Tim. Nice to meet you guys. Do you have any plans for this um, Valentine's Day? Uh, mostly just spend it with my girlfriend. That's nice. Nice to have a girlfriend, huh? Lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, w would you like to share uh, the plans you have for for your girlfriend? Do you have any surprises? Basically, just stay at home, watch movies, eat chocolate. Chocolate. Oh, uh, that's nice. Play some games too. What kind of games? Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, all that. PS, PS, PlayStation. Oh, that's nice. Are you excited for this Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah, actually, I yeah, am, cause it's been kind of this year with all the holidays. Oh yeah. It's been kind of bad, rough. So I'm kind of excited. Yeah, not really expecting too much though. That's nice. Um, so do you do you really love your girlfriend, huh? I uh, just started going out, so I can't really say if I love her or not yet. You know. Oh, you're not sure, huh? Yeah, I haven't really been together with her too long, so can't really tell yet. Oh, so how how long have you been together? Two weeks. Sorry. About two weeks. Oh, about two weeks. Oh, it's pretty short time, huh? So um. Would you consider yourself as a loving person? Yeah, kind of. I have my ups and downs, but in the end of the day, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so, have you ever lied before uh, to your girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Or to anyone? I ain't gonna lie, yeah, I have lied to them before. Oh, yeah? What does it make you if you have lied to someone else? Let's say I lied to you, what do you call me? I don't know, a liar. I wouldn't really trust you too much. <laughs> Have you ever stolen anything before? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, me too. I have stolen uh, some things like um, a ball pen or a small thing, right? So, what <laughs> does it make us? Thieves. Thieves, right? So, um, <clears throat> have you ever um, murdered someone? No. no. <laughs> do, you know, do you know Jesus? Have you, heard, have you ever heard of him? Yeah, I learned about him in uh, jail when I was in jail. I read the Bible and stuff, oh, the picture you. Bible and all that. Oh, cool. And then I had church every Sunday in there. Oh, and that's... Is it forced upon you, man? <laughs> is it? So, um, this is what Jesus said. Uh, if you ever hated your brother, you're a murderer. So, that's, that's how Jesus uh, sees us. Like, um, uh, he sees us, uh, he sees our our deeds and even our thoughts hey this one this one got me have you ever lost upon a woman huh have you ever committed lust like uh, have you lasted for someone i uh, not even sure like a uh, sexual desire sexual oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah right. even to your girlfriend huh? yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> This, yeah, yeah, me too. One time or <laughs> so, um, this is what Jesus said too. Um, if you ever lusted upon a woman, you committed adultery within your heart already. So, if if um, God sees you as a as a liar, as a thief, as a murderer and a adulterer already, so that's only four of the ten commandments, isn't it? Have you ever heard that? I read about the commandments, yeah, yes. I know. Are you going to be guilty or innocent? A little bit of both. <laughs> a little bit of both? Yeah, it should be <laughs> guilty or not. Mm, yeah, I'm guilty. You're guilty? So if God's going to judge you, where are you going? <laughs> I, I'm not even too sure at this point, really, because it's been going straight downhill for me. I'm just getting into more and more trolling. Can't really tell how, how it's going to go the rest the way you know because it's been kind of hard with me in my life and my brothers and all that I've had a rough life so I don't even know where I'm going with it so you don't know where you're going so um, let me uh, remind you again you're a, we are liars we are murderers we are adulterers so if if God is just he's gonna punish us 
right? So, um, are you concerned about it? Uh, I try not to think about it too much. Why not? Because it's, it's... At times I'll think about it, but at other times I won't because I don't want to like think about it too hard because then it just... Oh no, I think about it too much and I get kind of angry with it. So, um, let me uh, tell you something. Um, God loves you so much that He did something for you. Do you know what it is? He created us. He created us. Uh, uh, what else? I um, don't really remember, to be honest. Okay, let me summarize it for you and um, get your thoughts about it, okay? So, in God's eyes, you're a murderer, a thief, a liar, adulterer, and so much more, right? Same, same, same goes to me. That's what God judges us according to our uh, deeds, thoughts, and even your words. Even if you curse someone, you're going to be punished for it because God is just. So, you must punish, right? And but God is a loving God, so He sent His only begotten Son. Do you, you know who, who is it? Jesus Christ. He sent Jesus Christ to inert so that um, basically He lived a perfect life, and He sacrificed Himself as a as a yeah Sorry. to save us. To save us, right? So that we couldn't, so that um, we can have an an everlasting life, right? This is what. Um, this is the summary. Um, we are criminals, and God um, stepped down to His throne and uh, died for us. I instead of you going to hell, He did. He did suffer for you, paying paying our fines in full, and He rose again after three days, so that we may have life. So, in summary, um, God save us, right? So, um, what do you think about it? I don't know, it's kind of cool. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. I read about all that when I was in jail and I actually was pretty interested in it for a while. I read the whole Bible and then the picture Bible, but it got to me while I was in there. It wanted me to change for the better, but it's been hard. It's been hard. It's, it's hard to fight the, the ourself, right? So, um, would you consider it like uh, receiving that gift for yourself? It'd be nice. Nice, right? Do you know what what do you need to do for to receive to receive that gift of salvation? No. The Bible said that uh, we must repent of our sins. You know, repent, turn away from sins, 180 degrees, right? And then trust alone in Jesus Christ. Yes. Would you consider it receiving the gift by uh, repenting and trusting in Him? It's like um, it's like a plane crash, right? You're in a plane crash, and I mean the the plane is going down, and you see the parachute, and you believe that it's gonna save you. But are you gonna put it on, uh, or you're just gonna believe that you're gonna it's gonna save you? Eventually, I will. Yeah, at this point, I can't really tell what I'm gonna do really because there's a lot of stuff going on, and I just don't know what I'm doing right now. Why not now? It's hard. I just can't think straight lately because of all the stuff that's been going on. So. I don't really know what I really want to do at this point. I'm trying to get away from everything so I can think, but it's hard. It's hard, huh? but uh, do you know that we're not guaranteed of tomorrow? I know that. The Bible's... Guarantee. Nothing's ever a guarantee. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true, so... Except for death and taxes. <laughs> yes, that, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, yeah, we're... This is what's said, is we're living in the last days. Anyway, so, um... Would you think about it? What we talked to? Yeah, I think about it. So yeah. So anyway, um, nice talking to you, yeah, nice Derek. To you too. It's cold, eh? <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, it could be a challenge on the road sometimes. But if just that one person would give their life to the Lord, then it's all worth it. Let's go. Yeah, long nights thinking on far drives, worn mics. Feedback and weird vibes from the sound man Who's telling me turn down cause it's too loud Big city, small towns and a new crowd Four dudes from SoCal on the move now Leave home, hit that road, gain a few pounds Fast food living in gas stations Onboard navigation and mass patience uh, But we do it to bring truth to the ones who Lost hope and have nowhere to run to Oh Lord, take this note and the word you Impart to bring spark, let it burn through Cold hearts and these dark Days we pray. Oh, yeah. Okay. Strong pain. Just
Say, but to see the Lord praised, adequate for how he added to his grace, displayed by letting us fade. 